Welcome back everybody. Um, doing another video, uh, another update, and uh, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, let's show you what we're up to. Um, it kind of leads into the video that we shot last week, so let's take a look. So here we have the rear bumper off, and what we're doing is we're flatting this down uh, so that we can uh, go ahead and shoot this get it uh, all painted. We're gonna do the white um, here on the uh, this deck lid. Um, I'll put a picture, uh, post a picture, so you guys can see what we're going after. Um, we're gonna ditch the red striping, uh, so some of you may have saw, seen that. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, the white on the car. And this one though, however, is gonna have a lot of carbon fiber still on it. And now I'm going to show you what kind of carbon fiber we're going to be doing. So if you remember last week, we worked on this guy right here. And this is our rear wing. And I showed you uh, some of the sanding that we did on our rear deck. Uh, we did the same thing on the rear wing. And then we also did uh, some epoxy on it to get it nice and flat. And that's what we have done. Now, one of the issues that I've run into, which you probably can see over on this part, is if I remember that, the yellowing in those micro bubbles there. Okay, really irritating. Um, I've tried lots of things, um, but uh, I haven't been real successful uh, at getting rid of them on older parts. Newer parts, uh, somebody gave me a tip of using a blowtorch to get the bubbles out and that works a lot better than the heat gun so I've been doing that ever since and not having this issue but do I really want to redo all my parts now the answer to that is no <laughs> I want to do as little work as possible on uh, some of these uh, parts but I do want to get them uh, looking really nice so we took care of that on this wing by doing uh, which might be a thing, I don't know, uh, which is called ghost carbon fiber. And what, what that means is, is that we've laid down a light dusting layer of black paint over the top. And as you can see, from some angles, it looks just black. And then if you go to other angles, you can actually see the carbon fiber weave. And what is missing is any yellow micro bubbles at all so I think this is the look that we're going to continue forward with on most of these parts because I think it's actually a really cool look um, uh, the, f the video just doesn't do it justice it's absolutely gorgeous now it's not perfectly flat but damn it's pretty close so I'm gonna call that good <laughs> anyway um, not a perfectionist so that's just the way it's gonna be. Now let's go take a look at some other parts we've done. So uh, in this light, uh, this is our engine cover. I shot this yesterday. Um, it's looking really nice. The only problem is out in the sun, you can see that yellowing. Uh, so I think uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a light sand on this, hit it with a light coat of black, and we'll, uh, do the ghost carbon on that one so make it look really good um, but anyway I mean I like the way this looks I like uh, I don't think I'm gonna paint this white I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is we'll see how it looks on the car first before we decide to uh, do anything drastic as painting um, and then in here we have finished these guys so we finished the these scoops um, so those are all nice and really flat and uh, ready for being put on the car. So we got those finished. Um, the rear deck, again, that's gonna be white. So that's gonna get sanded and painted. And then we obviously finished uh, the uh, roof. Uh, the roof is gonna stay black, so it's gonna get a ghost uh, job, paint job on it. So we'll sand it down and, and shoot it. Uh, those are gonna be white. So we're gonna sand those down and shoot those white. 
Now, I also have this guy right here, which is our engine cover for the inside. And I think after I get it perfectly fit, we're going to uh, do a carbon fiber on this. I don't know if it's going to be the twill mat or the forged carbon, but uh, we'll see. So stay tuned and see what we decide there. And then here we go. This is our Centenario inspired uh, side wing, uh, winglets, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that gets bolted to the rocker. Um, haven't decided if that's going to be maybe white uh, or some carbon fiber. I don't know. I think the white would look good since the rocker is going to be carbon fiber. So <clears throat> lots of lots of things to choose here, which uh, is uh, something I like trying and doing and seeing if I like it or not and then uh, changing it up if not. So uh, again, we're doing some printing and we're actually printing the other side. So this is the passenger side. Um, I'm doing all of this in ABS, uh, which is giving me a lot more stability from the standpoint of being able to just field it with uh, some UV protection on it. Uh, because it can handle the direct sunlight. I've proven that by leaving parts out in direct sunlight. Um, and those were uncoated. Those were not uh, clear coated or anything. So uh, we're uh, pretty sure that that's going to be just fine. So uh, once I get this all glued up, we'll mock it up on the car and see what you guys think. I'd like you guys to go over to a friend of mine's uh page uh dale van blokeland i hope i said that right dale um and uh check out uh his new aventador build uh and then he started documenting it on uh youtube so i'll put a link to the first video that he's posted um give it a watch and you can see uh somebody who is very experienced in replicas uh now doing an aventador i believe that he's done a lot of beautiful uh cars in the past um, so he has other resources, but go ahead and check it out. Um, I think you guys will like what you see there and you'll get some good tips. So head on over. Well, thanks again for watching. Um, so hopefully everybody's having a great, uh, weekend, a uh, long weekend if you're here in the States. Um, and, uh, we'll talk to you next time. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, leave me some comments on what you've saw, seen. Uh, I like to hear them. I like them constructive, obviously. Uh, and then uh, I try to read all the comments so I, I can get back to you. So see you next time. Bye.